Alexa, how many days until June 12th? June 12th is in 23 days. 23 days! Damn. All right, what up, guys? Welcome to a new YouTube video. Um, Raw Nats Prep episode. I think this is only episode four because I'm behind. I have literally have filmed like two episodes the past like week and a half that I never got around to fully finish filming just because I got super busy. And I'm like, I have all this footage. Do I upload this footage? And I'm like, well, I can't upload it now because it's like a week and a half old. I guess I could have still uploaded it. But anyway, I'm going to update you guys now because it's Friday, May, May 20th. Okay. And we have a lot to discuss and update you guys on. As you heard, we are 23 days out from Raw Nats. Um, June 12th, so about three weeks. Um, hopefully this lighting is not too dark. Um, let me, give me a second. Anyway, okay, there we go. So, about 23 days out from this lighting sucks even more. Why is this so bad? All right, anyway, so, about 23 days out from Raw Nationals, but within the past two weeks, I graduated with my master's about a week and a half ago. So I'm officially done with school, which is great because it feels like a giant pressure has just been released off of me. Um, don't mind me, I look a little rough right now. I did not do my hair this morning, nor I haven't shaved in a few days. I lost my charger to my electric shaver, shave to my electric razor, so I need to go get a new one. Um, I probably should do that today, but anyway. Um, yeah, graduate school. I got sidetracked because I couldn't see myself. Graduate school, so done with that, thank God. Um, almost should have been done two years ago, but so anyway, just huge stress reliever. Um, as a graduation gift, I bought myself some Beats Studios. So I had some Beats Solos, they were like four years old. They were getting really worn down on the ears. Um, and I just wanted to upgrade because NAS is coming up and I just really wanted to spare. So I did that. Anyway, few other things to update guys on. We have bench today and then squat and deadlift tomorrow. I'm gonna show you all three lifts. Um, just to kind of give you all back into the groove of things and I had a few more things I wanted to update you guys on I don't know a lot's happened in the past like three weeks. But I've just been so busy like really busy. Um Don't even have time to think. Oh, yeah, I'm working with the nutritionist now. So shout out to fam for the nutrition So we're dialed in. Let me give you all a little bit of a physique update because I feel good right now um, I just ate my pre-workout snack, but we should be feeling pretty good. This is, this, this is too dark, right? Yeah, this is too dark. Um, let's see. Let me make this physique update work, boys. So, can you even tell? I don't know if you can tell. I'm literally standing on my TV toes right now. But I have no idea if this is a good physique update. But, guys, I feel really, really good. We're pretty good. Like, nutrition's been dialed in the past, like, two and a half, three weeks. Um, ever since working with fam. So, I feel fucking great. Um. I don't even know if you could tell. Hopefully, hopefully that wasn't dog shit, but I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna go to the gym and then I will catch you guys. All right, what up, what up guys? So hopefully, um, my air fryer is running in the background. 
Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys, but anyway, um, as you saw today, we just had a, a monster, monster uh, squat session. 620 triple, um, literally a PR triple for me. Um, never hit that much, and honestly, I wasn't thinking about hitting that much, but then um, I just locked in, I said I gotta do this shit, right? So, got it done. Um, tech pull 585 for two, felt very good. So overall, it was a really good day. Let me see if I can fix this, this lighting. Um, so, all right, so I think I fixed the light a little bit. So overall, it was a, a really good day, right? So now, wrapping up this video right here, but I was just thinking about some things. Um, training is going great for fucking today's May 21st, Saturday. So we're about three weeks out to in the next day. So 22 days out from Raw Nationals, right? And it is, okay, so just to put this into perspective, it's 10.38 p.m. Saturday night, three weeks out. I literally, so Saturday day is my refeed day, which means I have to eat more calories, right? So, training ran late today. I was training for four hours today. Okay, left the gym, was tired. I went and I got Chipotle. Um, while I'm sitting in the car, before I go into Chipotle, I'm literally calculating my order and my macros, right? I'm calculating my macros, I'm putting that into my nutrition app so I can put it on my Google Drive for my nutritionist. So, I'm literally doing that before I even go into Chipotle. Come home, eat fucking Chipotle. It's already like 7 p.m. Right, it's been three and a half hours since I ate Chipotle. I'm still relatively full, um, but I have not hit my refeed targets today, my macros, right? So I'm like, damn, I was gonna go to bed. I'm fucking tired, right? But then I was like, like I can't because I gotta get my macros in. Um, so I just weighed out my food, and now I'm cooking my food so I can get my macros in at 11 p.m. on Saturday night when I literally could be doing anything but I'm choosing to do this. And it just reminded me that, so I saw this, saw this video on TikTok, and it was, this guy asked this other guy, he said, if you could be, if you could live forever, would you do it? And the guy said, yes, absolutely. And he replied, he goes, that's the easy answer. He goes, I would say no, because the thing that makes life so exciting is the, the, the sense of urgency for accomplishment. Like time is limited. Like you have to accomplish things now or you may never accomplish them, right? Like if you live forever, there's no urgency, but we don't have forever, man. Like I got this window, this opportunity. And I'm like, dude, I gotta fucking maximize this. Like this year, so like this year we have a chance to do something at Raw Nationals. Like we legit have a chance, things have opened up, we got a chance. And like we gotta take advantage of that chance. Like I told myself, like whatever happens, obviously happens, right? But I will not let a result happen because I got out of work. Like, I'm not gonna get out of work. That's why I'm literally sitting here Saturday, Saturday night, took five, spent five minutes weighing food, calculating my food to hit my macro goals. Now I'm cooking it, now I'm gonna eat it. It's gonna be like 11. I'm literally just gonna do it because I'm not gonna let, I'm not gonna let someone outwork me. Like, no, like, like I, I, I want this. Like I, like, I had this small window this year um, in the next few years going forward because, you know, I can't do this forever. But there's literally a sense of urgency that we have to have to accomplish this and to get it done. And like, we just have to work for it, right? There has not been a day in the past three to four weeks um, that something did not get weighed. Everything I've eaten in the past week or the past three weeks has been weighed. It has been logged, it has been tracked. Um, all my water has been, been tracked. Like every, every variable I can control, I have absolutely controlled and I will continue to do so because we will, we will just not get out of work. That's just, like, that's just my new model right now. Um, someone said it to me a few weeks ago and I've just kind of stuck with it. You kind of see me talking about it on Instagram a little bit here and there, but like, like if you want something, I think, um, I might've been, I might've been, I was watching someone and they said this, they're like, you know, if you want something, you just gotta go make it happen. And so we're out here, we're making it fucking happen, man. So like, like whatever happens, I literally told myself, like, like whatever happens at Nats, it will not be because I was at work. Like that's that's just how it's gonna go. That's how it's gonna go down. Um, so getting this food in, had a great fucking training day. I'm gonna go sleep tonight. I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna weigh my fucking breakfast out. Same thing I eat every day, but I still weigh it every single day to make sure it's right. Um and then yeah, just gonna keep doing what we're doing. About three weeks out, man. Could I literally could not be more fucking excited. I'm ready to go, my body feels great. Um someone asked me if I was nervous today, and I'm not even nervous, I'm just I'm excited. Like it's it's an opportunity, man. And 
it's an opportunity that you would have told me four years ago, like I wanted that. And it's been taken this long for this to happen. And like the goal has never changed. And like I'm hitting goals, like when I first started the powerlifting, right now, I'm hitting numbers and goals that are like higher than what I wanted to do. Like I've already accomplished that. I still feel like I haven't accomplished anything. Like as far as I'm concerned, I haven't done anything. And like, we just gotta go do it. I like, can't really say anything else, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, this should be done soon. I'm gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Just wanna give you a quick training update. I'm gonna try to give you another, I'm gonna try to get two more videos out before we go to Vegas. Um, but yeah, man, we just, we just gotta get it done at the end of the day. Like the sun, sunrise and sunsets, so you gotta get it done. So, um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys.